Hello there. In this demonstration, we'll see how to get percentiles from a normal distribution using the TI-8384 family of graphing calculators. And when I say percentiles, I mean actual x values um, when you're given a mean and standard deviation for a normal distribution. Um, for example, examples illustrate what we're trying to do here. Suppose I have um, IQs are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Suppose I want to find what IQ separates the lower 25% from the others. In other words, what I'm trying to find is P sub 25, the 25th percentile of this particular normal distribution. Right? And it's really easy to find using the TI. When we did this in the book by hand with the tables, we had to you know, search inside the, the, the Z table for something closest to 0.25, convert that to an X score. It took a while. Really easy with the TI. So here we go. We're going to get, we need to get to this distributions um, menu right here, D-I-S-T-R. That's above the VARES button. So I hit second, VARES, and I go down to inverse normal, right? Our I-N-V-N-O-R-M. That's me right there. Okay, so now the point here, um, the reason, the really reason I, I wanted to get to this was that the newer versions of the TI-83 and 84 have this nicer user interface where you put in um, area, sigma, and the mean, or, um, mu and sigma. But in older versions, you'll actually just be given this function with the left parentheses, and you'll have to put in the remaining arguments. Right? So area is, is what they're asking for is the area to the left of the value I, I'm seeking. So if I'm looking for P sub 25, I put 0.25 in for area. So I'll go 0.25, hit enter. The mean is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. And it says paste, and what that means is you're going to paste that into this inverse norm function. So I hit enter. And all that really did was take your input. And I'll, I'll go back just to show you what this did. You don't have to do this part. What it did was it, it took the inverse norm function as described here, and it pasted all those, um, the elements, the area, the mean, and the standard deviation. Um, and anyway, you just hit enter, and that gives you the X score there, the IQ you're seeking. It is 89.88, right? Suppose I wanted to find the IQ that separates the top 10% from the others. Now I'm looking for P sub 90. Very easy. I go to second to get to my distribution menu. Go down to inverse norm. Hit enter. The area to the left is 0.9 now. Uh, the mean is still 100. The standard deviation is still 15. I'm going to click. I'm going to highlight paste and hit enter. Now it's stuck the input into my function, inverse norm, and all I have to do is hit enter. And I get 119.22. So that is the IQ that separates the top 10% from the remainder. All right, really easy to use, and you don't have to um, convert back and forth from a z-score. If you are working with the standard normal, the z-distribution, and you want actual z-scores with um, associated with a particular probability, um, the usage is exactly the same. The only thing is you have to make sure to remember that the mean in the standard normal distribution is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. And what that will put out are z-scores. So, so they're pretty small. They're usually between negative 3 and 3. Or you might get up to negative 4 uh, to 4. But, but you're not going to get any z-scores that are 119.22. These were actual values from the distribution of interest, um, particularly the IQs. So there it is, um, getting percentiles from a normal distribution using the TI-8384, very easy. Um, you just use the inverse norm function found by going to the distribution menu. All right, very good, bye.